building a successful fulfillment and transportation edge network. Joining us today to speak about that, Shekhar Natarajan, Chief Supply Chain Officer and Executive Vice President at American Eagle Outfitters. Shekhar, it's good to see you again. Welcome. Thank you so much. Shekhar, I guess the first thing to do right off the bat is to congratulate you because we are speaking at the annual conference of the Council of Supply Chain Management Professionals and your company is a finalist in the Supply Chain Innovation Award. So congratulations to you. Thank you so much. Let's talk about the innovation that was necessary, that was called for, and that is, of course, the subject of your presentation and your submission. What would you say that is? Describe that for us. The problem that like a company like American Eagle faces is really like threefold. The first is that you know, all of the supply chains in the country were actually built to service a thousand retail outlets. Right? So American Eagle has a thousand stores. So the supply chain was built to actually service a thousand stores. And e-commerce e comes along and we have to now deliver to 130 million doors. Mm -hmm. That's the first problem. Okay. The second problem is having, my, my life is a series of accidents. I've worked for a lot of great companies. And one such accident is a company called Walmart, which happens to be Fortune One. And just to give you context, American Eagle moves 200 million units. Walmart moves 50 billion units. So what American Eagle does in a year is what Walmart does in a day and a half. And Amazon does in half a day. And so no one has the scale to compete and catch up. And the third problem is primarily everyone has built distribution centers and they have built it in the center of the country to service retail. But more essentially, they have built for the peak. So everyone's assets are only 60 to 65% utilized take the carriers, take the brands, take the retailers, everyone's assets are only built to process the peak. So most of them have vertical pipes and they're only 65% utilized. So think about this as I built, I have the money, I built a road and all I can drive is my auto rickshaw on that road, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so no one else can use it. So that is the industry problem. And so the, the place where American Eagle began its innovation journey is to take what comes into the country and to make it efficient to the doorstep. So instead of using these large fulfillment centers and starting from the wrong place with the wrong inventory, with the wrong quantities and trying to fulfill the e-commerce orders, we wanted to create a distributed logistics environment where we are closer to the end consumer, we have omni inventory, we reduce our reliance on the stores, but we are more efficient from a pick pack ship operations, but also gives us the ability to diversify the carrier pool, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? So that was where we started the journey of our innovation. And I'm proud to say the results from that journey was simply outstanding. We were able to save a dollar fifty per package. We reduced the time it took to service the stores by 80%. We actually saved like 1800 basis point on inventory productivity. So all of the markdown dollars came down by like some $300 million last year. We were able to also like ship a day and a half faster to the end consumers. And we were able to reduce the parcel miles by 2 billion miles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the second step of our journey of the innovation was to take what like work for American Eagle and make it accessible to the industry, mm -hmm. right? And making it accessible to the industry, we had two choices. You know, we start like kind of like evangelizing our story and basically like telling people how it works or take the core set of capabilities we bought and the companies that we worked with. We actually brought them together. It gave us the operational base. It gave us the capabilities, accelerate our journey. And so now we are in the process of offering the same set of capabilities that actually drove the benefits of our American Eagle to the industry as a whole. And it's not a pipe dream. We have like 70 brands on the platform. We have 40 carriers on the platform. And we are actually 
we've already like tripled the GMV running through this network and we have like doubled, more than doubled the revenue which is actually going through this network. So in other words, you're not just offering what you did you know, to other people, they have actually taken you up on it. You have these extant partnerships, right? With retailers and with, uh, with carriers. That is an ongoing situation and is continuing to build, I assume. Yes, and so that is the exciting piece of what we're trying to do. So think of what we're trying to do is very similar to what Apple offers from a product perspective, right? Apple has Apple phone hardware, Apple has Apple proprietary software like iTunes and key, you know, Keynote. And Apple also is able to provide access to a lot of apps on the App Store that you could download and use it. And so what we are building is a, a platform which is very similar. And the way we are going about it is if you consider Walmart and Amazon as a private network, we are creating an open network. We are bringing participants, we are bringing the ecosystem providers all onto the platform and creating interoperability between everyone, that way everyone has shared prosperity. So it's, is it fair to say then that you have made a transition from, from multi-channel to omni-channel? Is, is it in high gear? I mean, is that, is that uh, fair to say? Well, we've already transitioned from like a multi-channel to an omni-channel. I think what we have now moved on to is a different ballgame altogether. It's decentralized operations, but more democratized access, mm -hmm. right? So, listen, I come from slums in India, where access to education, access to paying for funerals, like, ev including electricity was a big deal, it was a big deal, right? And so what happened to me here in America was something beautiful. It didn't matter who I was, it didn't matter where I came from, it didn't matter how I looked. The country gave me a level playing field to be who I am and work for some of the greatest companies here. And so if you look at the world of commerce, no one is competitive because they have an anchor and a nemesis called supply chain. And so what we want to do is democratize supply chain so everyone has similar competitive advantage and all you have to have is an idea and a brand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So where is it going? What's the future? What do you see going down the road? Well, I, I think um, where we are headed with this journey is to create a regenerative business. And when, what I mean by regenerative business is all companies talk about sustainability. Sustainability just means that you've screwed up the world and you're not going to screw it any further. <laughs> Right? A regenerative business means it is actually giving back to the society. Hmm. How do I do that? If I create interoperability, and if Russell actually buys a pair of jeans and Nike shoes, and you know, probably buys a pair of like, you know, um, underwear, they're all coming from different sources to your doorstep as three different packages. And so no one is able to take all of those and consolidate that into a single doorstep experience that Russell now controls, right? And so where we are headed with this is actually envision and bring that dream to a reality. So all of our you know, capabilities, the platform enablement is geared towards having consolidation at every step of the way, sharing at every step of the way, open sourcing every step of the way, and then making it like affordable for the brands, making it optimized for the carriers, making it like cheaper for like people to do business with and giving control back to the consumers. It's a wonderful, wonderful vision, I must say. And I'm just so grateful that you had the time to sit down and to speak with us about this. Trekker, let me congratulate you and American Outfitters once again, being a finalist in the Supply Chain Innovation Award competition here at CSCNP. But again, thank you for speaking with us. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Shekhar Natarajan, American Eagle Outfitters, and speaking with us today about their entry in the Supply Chain Innovation Award competition. Thanks for watching.